Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to decide which designer luxury handbag you should purchase first. Okay, so let's jump right into this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carla. On this channel, I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, then please subscribe down below. So, number one, the first thing you want to do is set a budget. Um, I know it just seems basic. A lot of the things I probably will be sharing here is basic, but it's not things that you usually will think of, right? Because it's usually the basic, simple things that we do not think about so the first thing is you want to set a budget nowadays luxury designer handbags can be pricey um, you know you have your Fendi bags that are in the 3000 range you have um, your Louis Vuitton bags which has the prices have skyrocketed even for the canvas because um, they're so hard to get um, you have your Chanel which you know if you've been doing a little bit of research, um, the prices are astronomical. Um, so I will always say to set a budget. That is the number one thing you want to do. You want to think, okay, if I purchase this handbag, am I okay? If Am I breaking the bank? Um, if something ha happens to this handbag, will I be outrageously upset? Because, you know, if something happens to a handbag, even if you have the money for it, you know, you kind of feel upset, but will you be outrageously upset if you spent this amount of money on a handbag? So those are things you want to think of before or when you're setting your budget for a handbag. The next thing, the second thing you want to do is your research. I mentioned this in the first step um, a little bit, but if you've already done your research, um, that's fine. You know, some of these steps can be interchangeable. The reason why I say set a budget before you do your research um, is because sometimes, you know, when you see something, you may fall in love with it. Like, I mean fall in love with it. And what if you fall in love with a handbag that's $5,000 and now you're like, you know, I really, really want that bag, which is nothing wrong with setting a goal, nothing wrong with setting a goal, but we're talking about your first luxury designer handbag, right? Um, so just be very careful, especially with social media. Um, when you're doing your research, you can get things just thrown in your face. You know, now Instagram, it's like full of ads. Um, so do your research and find a handbag that suits you. Make sure that that handbag that you find suits you. Just do your research, guys. Please do your research. Know your prices um, for the bag that you fall in love with. And I'll explain why you want to make sure that you know your prices for the bag that you fall in love with. Another reason you want to do your research is you want to figure out, okay, what shape do I want? Um, what material do I want you know I can I could be someone who would love a mini um, based on my body shape right another person may not want a mini because it does not fit their body shape those are things that you want to take into consideration um, a small bag may not be for everyone a medium bag may not be for everyone a square um, bag may not be for everyone a more cylinder like those are the kind of things you want to think about the shape of the bag the material um, do you want canvas because it's easier to clean off that's one thing with uh, actually a lot of brands but Louis Vuitton big for canvas easy to clean off do you want calfskin leather um, those are the things just things to think about because you know you want to know yourself know yourself and know what suits you I'm a very carefree person um so i usually buy handbags that if i put it down somewhere if it gets dirty i can just wipe it off um if it has feet on the bottom perfect because then i know when i put it down the bottom of the bag is not touching like the uh, something dirty or like the table may have dirt on it those are things that you want to think about do you want a big handbag like I have the Neverfull GM, which I do use, I do use it, but I do not use it often 
because sometimes it's just too big for my body shape yes i can fit a lot of things in it but i i don't feel like i can use it as an everyday bag i cinch in the side sometimes and it works but it limits the amount of things that i can put in so those are things that i'm talking about do your research there are so many videos out there that you know i know a lot of people do like collective luxury hauls but this is one of the reasons why i enjoy selecting a handbag and giving you guys the specs and reviews on a handbag because not everyone can just frivolously go out there and just spend ten thousand dollars at one time on like a whole shopping spree there are people out there that you know they have to limit themselves and they want to know okay how much do I want to spend on this handbag is a, a handbag that I want what's the material on this handbag how big is the handbag how much fits in the handbag um, that's where your what's in um, what's in my bag kind of comes in handy um, but yeah that's why you want to do research um, on handbags just to know and be certain that the amount of money that you're spending in a handbag is it worth it is it gonna suit you are you gonna buy a handbag that you just spent say you set your limit say you say okay the most I'm gonna spend on a handbag is fifteen hundred dollars are you gonna take that those fifteen hundred dollars buy a handbag and not be happy with it because you happen to see one of your favorite influencers with this handbag you loved it but it doesn't work for you what do you do then you for you you're gonna feel like you've wasted that money so do your research All right. once you've done your research um again it can interchange maybe you maybe you did your research first set your limit or you set your limit how much you want to spend and then you did your research whichever one once you're done with those two then you want to if you can go into the stores and see this handbag try it on ask questions um, ask about the material maybe you found the handbag you want but you didn't get enough information on let's say um which is it mm, let's say calfskin is it gonna scratch easily like is it pebbled leather those are the things you want to think about and if you did not get enough information go in the store and ask these questions like i said try on the handbag see if it fits you if you're a crossbody person does it sit perfectly on you right some people torsos are higher some people are shorter some people are taller does crossbody when you wear your hand your handbag crossbody if that's how you like it does it sit where you want it to sit those are things you want to think about and like i said if you want go to the store try it out by the time you've done all these steps i would hope that enough time has gone by that you know it's not necessarily an impulse buy when you go into the store to purchase this item hopefully by the time that you've done your research set your limit you know and by research i mean looking up everything everything hopefully by then enough time has passed that again it's not an impulse buy and sometimes i try to feel myself out like if I see someone with this handbag, does it want, make me really, really want it? If I see a different handbag, do I automatically stop thinking about the handbag that I already set my eye on? If that happens, the bag is not for you. The handbag is not for you. Give yourself some time. Like, give yourself some time to feel out this handbag. I I do not think that you should do an impulse buy. Actually, you should not impulsively purchase a handbag. Even if it is on your list, do your research so it's not an impulsive buy because chances are you will regret it and you do not want to regret it. Um, I kind of rambled off and, and shared extra stuff, but I'm going to go back and say, guys, if you can, go in the store and check this handbag out. The next thing I would recommend, um, say you've gone in the store and it's a $5,000 handbag. Say it's a Fendi handbag. Um, what handbag do I wanna say? Say it's a baguette. Say it's a, a Fendi baguette that you've been eyeing out. Um, I would say check the pre-loved market. Um, guys you can find some gems on the pre-loved market and sometimes the amount that you save is worth the little scratch that it may have i love shopping on fashion file um 
just even if it's just like not window shopping but kind of like window shopping online i love doing that because then i just get to you know see different pieces see the things that come in um how much am i going to save how much am i saving based on oh is the hardware scratched a little um is the inside does it have maybe like a little pencil mark things like that how much am i saving on the handbag in the um, in the pre-love market how much am i saving is it worth it um i usually find that it is worth it so yes if you can if you're into buying new i actually love buying new i love going i like the entire experience of shopping in store but sometimes when you set a budget and nowadays like i said prices are insane prices are insane for things um i would recommend after you've tried everything on in store and you know that you love the bag check the pre-love market check the pre-love market for that handbag you most likely will be able to find that handbag on the pre-love market and save yourself even if it's a couple hundred dollars you're saving a saving a saving is a saving right um so my recommendation is that you then check the pre-loved market i do want to point out that i did not um put certain handbags in this video because I just feel like everyone's different sometimes when you throw a bunch of handbags in a person's face they end up like it just stays in their head their head and they think that's what they need I feel like that kind of happened to me with the Neverfull GM the Louis Vuitton Neverfull um, again it's a great bag I do not want to take away from the handbag it's great to travel and things like that but I just feel like it was pushed on me in a sense like I just wish I had taken my time and I had just written down all of the things that I want in a bag I wish I had I love canvas I've um I love leather but I canvas for me in my opinion is a great way to start so had I sat down and written down okay first I know that okay I want to spend maybe fifteen hundred dollars on a handbag okay what materials do I want I would have put canvas canvas would have been my choice because again it's easy it's simple what size bag would I have wanted I at that time I probably would have gone with like either a small like a small handbag because actually a medium handbag um, because at that at that time I was just carrying more things so I probably would have gone with a medium handbag that was crossbody because with the Neverfull, the straps fall off. I will say that the straps do fall off. And sometimes if you put too much in the bag, it can be a little bit heavy. So I would have put a crossbody handbag that I can fit a decent amount of things in. Um, you know, easy to get into, um, maybe like some compartments, maybe not. That wouldn't been a, a deal breaker. But those are things I would have done just to appreciate my first luxury design a handbag more and that's why I just felt like I wanted to make this video because I find that sometimes we just impulsively buy we go online we go on YouTube because YouTube is great for research um, but if we don't know any better we're just impulsively looking and then we fall in love with let's say the Neverfull and that's all you keep on researching so just take some time um, take some time write down the things that you really really want in a handbag you know yourself you know your needs so take the, all that stuff into consideration and try these handbags out i hope this video um made sense i i really do hope it made sense for anyone who watches this video and is like why but why didn't she share anything um let me just drop a couple bags that i'm looking at right now that Maybe if you're like, I still can't figure it out. I, I still cannot figure out what I would want. Um, I've mentioned this, but I love the YSL Lulu handbag. I got it in the size small. I feel like I could fit a decent amount of things in there. Um, it does have a middle compartment if you want to put some stuff in there. Um, if you have, let's say camera wise, um, if you have a big camera, it's going to be pretty hard to close. So that's the only thing I kind of struggle with but if you have a vlogging camera it fits easily um, I love the leather so it is a leather handbag I love the leather on that bag love it um, it's like a supple kind of 
like I love the leather love the leather on that bag um, so the YSL Lulu would be one of my handbags um, another handbag that I really really like it's not really a handbag it is kind of hard to get your hands on but it's the toiletry 26 and I say handbag because I use mine as a handbag because I've been able to add a strap to it um, so that and it's canvas uh, so it's easy to wipe down it's one pouch so you can just put things in there I have a organizer in mine so there are times where I can like divide things and just put things in certain spots and not worry about the interior but I will say the interior of the toiletry is easy to clean off because it's more of a makeup bag um, so they've made it with material that you could just wipe off that's another handbag that I like I like um, what's another handbag so I love this is a luxury handbag um, I put it in the luxury category I love if you watch other videos on my channel I love the Nicole Lainel the NL the label lunchbox um, I paid not even $300 for it so know that there are pieces out there that will suit you at your price point um, so it was yeah it was not even $300 for this handbag um, it's more of the shape is a bit tricky to work with um, that's why I say know the shape that you want so it's a little bit tricky because it's more of like a case kind of bag so you open it um, you open it up and then you put things in the inside if you've been doing a little bit of research and you found this video then you probably have heard or if not um, the Louis Vuitton Nice mini it's kind of like that with a Chanel vanity case that is what you're getting with that handbag um, it is leather um, I love the strap on it I just love everything about the bag it is by a black it's a black owned brand um, by black designer Nicole I know like I previously mentioned um, but that's another handbag that I truly like and I've been wearing a lot um, but yeah those are just a couple of pieces that I wanted to share in case you found this video and you're like Carla why didn't you share something like give me something I just shared three with you um, but it's not to say that that those bags are for you it, that's not what I'm saying but there is a head start if you're looking for a little bit of a head start I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions if you've gone through my channel and you've seen a few of my unboxing and, and you have questions on those bags feel free to ask me in the comment section down below I will probably link the bags that I mentioned the toiletry 26 I will have to look on the pre-love market probably fashion file um, to see if it's on there and I will link that down below um, the Lulu you can find in a, a plethora of colors um, but yes I will have those things linked down below please remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others love yourself and love others as well also remember to follow me on Instagram at Carla that's 19 see you in the next video mm -hmm.